The meadow's biome is the first of six biomes currently in Valheim. It is characterized by green grassy fields, melodic music, and relative safety in contrast to the others. In this video, I will share with you a full guide to the meadows and cover the following. Key resources in the meadows biome, all of the meadows creatures, a complete list of armors and weapons, how to find and prepare for the meadows boss, and of course, there will be some tips, tricks, and secrets along the way. When starting a new world, you will land amongst six sacrificial stones. First thing you want to do is interact with the stone to highlight the meadows boss location on your map, Etir. Defeating him is your main objective in the meadows, but before we fight him, we need to prepare. The first thing you'll want to do is build a base for shelter. To do this, you'll need to first build a hammer, followed by a crafting table. Pick up wood and stone found around the ground to get started. As you progress, you'll gain the ability to craft an axe and cut down trees. In the meadows, there are three types of trees. First are beech trees. You can cut these down with the stone axe, which yields you wood, and more rarely, resin, feathers, and beech seeds. The second tree is the oak tree, which can only be cut down with a bronze axe or better. And, like the beech trees, yield wood, resin, and feathers, but also fine wood and potentially an acorn. Thirdly, the birch tree, which, like the oak tree, can only be cut down with a bronze axe or better, and will yield you wood, fine wood, with a chance of resin, feathers, and birch seed. You won't have the ability to craft the bronze axe until you advance to the black forest biome, but there is a way to chop these trees down early. If there are beech trees in the vicinity of the oak or birch tree you want to destroy, you can chop down those beech trees and hope they fall on your tree of interest. If you're lucky, this will destroy the tree. With shelter secured, your next priority will be to find food to build up your health and stamina. You can get access to food by slaying several creatures in the meadows. First is the boar. Hunting the boar is relatively easy as it will aggro you on sight. Slaying the boar will yield you boar meat and leather scraps and potentially the boar trophy. Second is the neck. Necks are usually found near the water and similar to the boar will aggro you on sight. Slay the necks to receive the neck tail and really the neck trophy. Lastly, the deer. Deers are skittish and will run from you on sight. You can hunt deer in several different ways. Use your sneak ability to sneak up on them. Craft a bow or a spear and shoot at them from range. Use the crafting station method to trap and kill the deer. Or you can just get lucky like I do sometimes and hope they get stuck in a tree or in the water. Killing deer will yield you deer hide, deer meat, and a chance at a deer trophy. In addition, you'll also find other food sources you can gather such as raspberries found in bushes or mushrooms scattered on the ground. Pro tip, turn down the foliage quality in your menus to make these easier to spot. And lastly, honey from bees nests which can be found in huts like this. Beware as these can be dangerous and very easily kill you in the early game. Either shoot them from afar with a bow or build a crafting station nearby and deconstruct the building supporting the bees to destroy the nest. Much of the food you have gathered can be eaten raw and others like the boar and deer meat must be cooked. To cook your food, build a bonfire and place a cooking station over top. Place your meat on the cooking station and shortly you'll have a cooked meal. With shelter secured and a full belly, it's time to prepare for combat by crafting armor and weapons. There are two sets of armor to be crafted in the meadows. The rag armor, made up of the rag tunic and rag pants, can be crafted with leather scraps found from boars. And second, the leather armor, the first real armor set in Valheim. This armor set is composed of the leather helmet, leather tunic, leather pants, and deer hide cape. To craft and fully upgrade the leather armor, you'll need to gather deer hide, bone fragments from stone graves and viking graveyards. Stone graves and viking graveyards can sometimes be hard to recognize but take special notice of rock formations such as these shown on screen. Dig in these locations to find treasures such as the bone fragments, in addition to amber pearls, coins, fire arrows, rubies, or even a silver necklace. Alternatively, you can sneak ahead into the black forest and battle some skeletons for bone fragments. As for weapons and shields, you have an absolute abundance of options. I'll include a full list of weapons and shields on screen as well as their crafting costs. Feel free to pause here to read the full list. I would personally recommend the stone axe and crude bow for slaying the hostile creatures in the meadows, 
like the Grayling and ultimately Aether, keep in mind that to use the bow you need arrows. You can make the basic arrows with only wood, but if you want to seriously pack a punch, you'll need feathers, flint, and resin to create flint and fire arrows. To get resin, you can kill graylings, or if you're lucky, you'll get resin from cutting down trees. Flint can be found on the ground, primarily near water. And finally, you can shoot gulls to claim their feathers. You'll see gulls flying around quite often, but you'll likely have to wait for them to land. Once they do, you can kill them with a well-placed arrow or spear toss. Now you're ready to fight the boss. To prepare, I recommend crafting and upgrading the leather armor set, crafting the stone axe and crude bow with fire arrows, sleep or rest at a fire to gain the rested bonus for increased health and stamina regeneration, and finally, eat my recommended meal of cooked deer meat, cooked boar meat, and honey for a good balance of health and stamina for the fight. All that is left to do is navigate to Aether's summoning location and place two deer trophies on the forsaken altar to initiate the fight. Once defeated, Aether will drop the Aether Trophy and Hard Antler. Use the Hard Antler at a crafting table to craft the Antler Pickaxe, which will be critical for progression in the Black Forest. And lastly, place the Aether Trophy on its corresponding sacrificial stone where you spawned at the beginning of the game to unlock his Forsaken Power. This power will allow you to reduce stamina costs of running and jumping by 60% for a few minutes. And that is the Meadows. If you enjoyed yourself or learned something new, consider leaving a like or subscribing. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more biome guides just like this in the future. Thanks for watching.